welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonnet, the owner and creator behind Sonnet's Garden Blooms and for day 10 of the 25 days of Thriftmas, we are doing an ombre effect on flannels. So, some items that you will need. First and foremost, find your grubbiest clothes that you can possibly find. So I broke out my painting pants. Um, I don't have very many bad uh, sweatshirts and stuff. So my husband's not home, but I broke out his. He must have had this since he was like 13. I don't know. Uh, so I broke out the sweatshirt and he's probably going to come home and he's probably going to say, oh my gosh, it's my good sweatshirt. Really, Craig? There's holes. So, no. Um, first and foremost, do not have anything good on. Then you do need a pair of gloves. You definitely want to pr um, protect your hands from all of this. And um, you do not want to be sticking your hands in um, bleach water. Like, it's pretty strong bleach water. And then you will need some flannels. So recently I was at the Goodwill bins and I found some flannels at the Goodwill bins. And then I had one in my closet that I thought I would try it on. My daughter wanted me to pick her one up from Walmart. So I grabbed this and the other one that I had at the bins my husband refused to let me <laughs> use it. Uh, he came home the other day and he's like, oh my gosh, you're not gonna really bleach this, are you? I'm like, yeah. So um, long story short, he ended up really liking that one. So unfortunately, the fifth item that we were going to do uh, is with currently going to be in Craig's closet. So you are gonna need bleach. And I don't know what the difference between, I just grabbed a bunch of stuff that I had. This one says concentrated. This one just says new improved whitening power. So I'm not really sure, but they're both Clorox bleach. Uh, you are gonna need a rinsing bucket. So once you bleach it and you get it, you wanna rinse those out. Um, and then you're gonna need water. So what I, everything I've read, 50-50. So you'll want 50% water to 50% bleach. So that is what we're going to do. So first and foremost, let's get our mixture ready. I should also state, I do not know how this experiment is going to pan out. Um, I've never done this before. So this is definitely something I am doing with you guys. So hopefully you guys will learn from possibly any mistakes that I make, uh, if there are any. And we are just gonna go and kind of do what, I should have probably taken my wedding ring off. Oh, good Lord. All right, so I have just a junky old, I don't even know, I think this came from, somewhere I'm not sure just a plastic container and let's go ahead and add the bleach first don't want that in there okay so I think I'm gonna add oh I can mix these two together they're just bleach both of them are bleach so I don't think there's a difference All right, so we got a lot of bleach. And now I have, I kind of measured um, to make sure it was 50-50. I kind of measured, I filled up the pan full of water, dumped the water in my other pan, and then I kind of knew approximately how much bleach to put in there. All right, so um, the key, the uh, what I all the research that I've done because I've been wanting to do this for myself for a while. Then my daughter said she wanted one. Then she wanted another one, and then I thought, well, if it works out, I should probably do another one. Should I be doing these all at the same time? That is a question. Probably not. I probably should just be doing one. But I figure I have all the mixture. I'm out here. Um, it is. I've been. It was supposed to be 40 degrees today. 
That's why I waited till Saturday to do this. It's not 40. It's much colder. Uh, so what I've read though is when you go to put your shirt in, you want to make sure it's all buttoned up. And the reason that is because when you hold your shirt, it will be nice, it will be all perfect. So when you do the ombre effect, it will be perfect to a certain point. Then you dip it all in and then you pull it out a little bit and then you leave it sit for a little bit longer, pull it out, leave it sit for a little bit longer. So then that's how you get the ombre effect. But by buttoning it down, it makes it just really nice and perfect and you don't have to worry about it being like, uh, like all of a sudden the, the one, the ombre, like the kitty corner, you want it nice and almost like level. So let's go ahead um, and we'll start with this one. The other thing too to take mention or take note about is that some fabrics apparently do not bleach. And um, what I've read is 100% wool will not bleach and I did not know that. So <clears throat> looking at this one, it was 100% cotton. So we're gonna start with this one and I am gonna go about halfway down. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna start soaking, putting it in, submerging it into the water. And the, the bleach water, we should say. So I'm, I have that one. Um, all right. And then I am going to, I probably should have these over here. So the next one, again, I'm going to, because you don't want to touch your shirts with your bleached hand either. So let me do this one next. So we'll do two at the same time. And how I'm gonna start it is I'm gonna leave them both in here initially, okay? And then what I'm going to do from there, I'm gonna see about it discoloring, if it's gonna take away any of the color and as it takes away the color, then I'm going to pull it up. And this is the funny part. So I got really mixed reviews on everything that I watch. Now this is all here. We'll go like this. This is just a great sweater. Um, I got really mixed reviews. So some people said, leave it in for 40 minutes. Other people said, you only need to leave it in for a short period of time. And then, so it's, it's definitely a, a very mixed bag of how to, how long to put it in. So let's see, I was at like around the seven, I think it was like the 740 mark up there. So again, I'm just gonna kind of work my way. You want to put your sleeves and the bottom in all at the same time. The other thing too is you can also flip it over if you want your top bleached versus the bottom, you can definitely do that as well. So now my husband's getting home and he's gonna see that I have his sweatshirt on, but as I'm bleaching these, I see that some of the, the water is definitely changing colors. So that's, that is definitely a good sign. So I'm going to now just squeeze a little bit this out and then leave a chunk of this so then that will be bleached and then this is going to be giving us hopefully our ombre effect of that. So. And this one doesn't seem to be changing. The red and black one does not seem to be changing color all that much. So, and the one other thing is, take note, you definitely want to do this outside. I don't know if I mentioned it right away. Um, many, <laughs> I mean, especially when you're working with something so concentrated like bleach, you do not want to be in the house. 
oh, I hear a woodpecker. I'm like, what is that? So I feel like neither, I mean, the color seems to be, I don't know if either of them are changing on either of these. This one seems to cha have changed a little bit. I don't know, I'm gonna put it back in. I can definitely smell the chlorine or the Clorox bleach. So we'll see what happens here. I'm gonna leave it sit and then we will come back um, after it sits for a little bit. Uh, but both, I'm trying to see here, I wonder what this, this is 100% cotton. I don't know what this one is. So, but yeah, I think it must be changing a bit because the coloring is a little bit different. From what I understand, if you want it completely whitewashed, like totally white, that's when you want to leave it in for um, quite a bit of time. So, I'm just working it in. I don't know if you guys can hear the woodpecker he's like pecking like away um but this is something that i've wanted to try for a while and with the holidays coming i thought it'd be kind of fun to have like um we always go up north to my in-laws and they have many different gatherings so they have a gathering at their house and then we always go somewhere else and i thought it'd be kind of fun to have you know the red and um, black buffalo check since that is kind of my theme <laughs> this season and uh, then my daughter too said, we'll try. Well, she wanted that one for school. So um, now this has been several minutes. So if I did like 740, eight, nine, yeah, it's been about five minutes. So I'm gonna rinse this. Oh yeah, now I'm seeing it. Now I'm definitely seeing it. So I'm gonna, I rinsed that a little bit. Let me do this one. I rinsed, wrung it. I'm just gonna leave the bottom now in. And then that way, and then the other thing too, when we're all done, I'm gonna lay it out and I'm just gonna like take my fingers and I'm gonna flick some of the, um, some of the bleach water on it just to kind of Sparkle it on top just in case I can tell that I've gotten some already on it so um, that will be a good thing to do as well so I'm just gonna leave this in the water like I said a little bit longer then once I am done with these we'll rinse them out it takes away some of the bleach I understand so it tries to like deactivate the bleach and then from there what we'll do is we are going to throw it in the washer I have the washer all set. I'm going to wash it and then I'll dry them and then I will have them available for you guys to see. So, all right, let's see. It is, I'm trying to watch the timer on the clock and being on my knees like this. I've been working out and I did uh, some squats. It was not, not very good, guys. So, it was actually, okay pretty hard on me. Okay. So I'm going to first take this. side I don't know if I really got the it like as an ombre effect kinda looks like it a little bit but all right wrung that one out I don't know if I this one did much Oh 
yeah, I guess it did. Actually, that, I like that one a lot. Oh. I shouldn't have that. They're like that. I really like that one a lot, actually. That's probably my favorite. Okay, so now let's do the next ones. All right, so this is another 100% cotton one. And from what I understand too, you can keep using the same water. So as you can kind of see, it's turning a little bit like orangey. Um, I'm just gonna rinse my hands off a little bit there. But um, that is still okay. Okay, so this is the one from Walmart. I, these used to be, I guess, from what I understand, like $8 for the flannels, and now they have gone up. They are like $11. So hopefully I don't wreck this one. <laughs> we will see though, right? All right. So we're doing a total of four. Oh, I will definitely, once I... I'm done with these two. I will. Oh yeah, the the Walmart one is definitely changing colors. The um, brown is kind of turning like an orangey, and the blue is turning a bit of purpley, which is interesting. Okay, that is definitely changing quick. I'm gonna take that out. Okay. Now this one does not appear to be really doing a whole lot of anything. And they said sometimes depending on the fabric that is being used, even though it said 100% cotton, it could be that nothing happens at all. So. one what I want to try to accomplish with this one is I want to start off at the top do the try to make this more white on the bottom oh, there's my husband sneezing let's see this one does not look like it's doing anything but it's making the water really kind of funky. Uh, all right, so that is kind of a waiting game at this point. Okay, I'm gonna finish this up and then I'm going to show you, I'm gonna lay them all out on the concrete and then show you what they look like and then I'm gonna throw them in the washer. I'm not bringing you guys along for that portion of it, but um, as soon as this gets done here, then I will lay them out and I'll show you what they look like so far. And then from what I understand, they look even a little bit different um, once we wash them. So I, am going to stop taping now and then I will continue on when I'm done. So the water you can see is kind of dingy orange and this is the bleach water. So this is the first one and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get my fingers kind of wet and I'm just going to Try to like spritz it a little bit. I'm gonna flip it over. And then I'm gonna try to do the same thing to the back. Not really sure how that's gonna turn out. Haven't tried that part of it, but I thought it'd be kind of fun. In the back there. I 
do it to this one as well. Oh, actually, I did do a little bit. I don't think I did enough, though. All right, and then we're going to flip this one over. And I'm going to do it to the back side, too. So I had kind of did it before, and you can see the little bits, but I think we need you need to almost do a little bit more. Okay, so that is that. And here, let me just show you. Sorry, my daughter's trying to help me. So you can see the effect. Do you want me to do it to yours up there or do you like, yeah. no? And then there's this one. And I really like how this one turned out. This is the Walmart one. I love how it starts. And that's Caitlin's. I've already told you guys. She's like, that's mine, that's mine. And I like this, I like the browns. I like how it goes from the black to the brown. So I'm liking that. So from here then, what I'm going to do is I am going to grab them and throw them in the washer and then dry them and then we will show you the final results. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I actually had so much fun creating today. I was actually like nervous about doing it, but once it got started and now that I saw the results, I'm absolutely loving them. And honestly, I think I'm going to start uh, thrifting some flannels and I am going to try to bring them to Cranberry Fest next year. So uh, I love trying new things and uh, that was something that has been kind of on like my bucket list, I guess, you know, to try a DIY that I haven't done before. But uh, tomorrow I do have, now we're gonna start decorating. So um, I am definitely gonna start prepping. Um, so probably like a DIY tomorrow. And then um, from there, we're gonna start decorating everything. We got the tree today. So um, be looking forward to Tomorrow's video is going to be kind of fun. I, um, I'm i just going to lay it out there and just say it's going to be fun, or I think it is. And I hope you guys enjoy it too. You guys have a great night, and hopefully your weekend is going awesome. We will see you tomorrow for day 11. And if you want all the details for the 25 days of Thriftmas, go watch day one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.